Do you know that you can get a job and move to Ireland? Do you know that you can as well move with your dependent to Ireland and work in Ireland as a care worker? And in this video, I'm also going to show you some other jobs in the critical occupation list of Ireland that would enable you secure a job in Ireland, move with your dependents into Ireland, stay in Ireland, live there comfortably, and as well work and at the end of the day you will be able to be a citizen of Ireland by nationalizing in Ireland. Yes, Ireland is a country in Europe that speaks English. Yes, I know a lot of you would want to move to a country that speaks English, especially those of you living in countries that speak English as well. I know a lot of you love that. So I'm going to show you how to move to Ireland, how to get a job in Ireland and be able to move with your dependent if you have a dependent. Ireland is an amazing country. The healthcare sector, the free education and the rest are amazing things you and your dependents will be able to enjoy in Ireland. And I'm going to show you an evidence that people are still getting job in Ireland. I'm going to leave the screenshots of one of my subscribers that was able to get an interview with one of the employers in Ireland. This is just to prove to you that you can be able to get a job in Ireland unless you are no longer willing to apply. But if you're willing to keep applying, you are going to get a job in Ireland if Ireland is exactly where you would like to move. So I'm going to show you the critical occupation list now so that you can be able to see all the jobs that can be able to bring you to Ireland and then enable you work and nationalize in Ireland if that is what you want. If you're new here, my name is Oge. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. So on this channel, I share tips and tricks on how you can be able to move abroad without spending money. You don't need to spend money. All you need to do is gather the information and do it yourself. You don't need any agent. No agent is involved. You do it yourself and you'll be able to move to that country of your dream. So let's go into it so that we'll show you the critical skills occupation list and then you would be able to see the jobs that can bring you. And I'm also going to show you where you can find jobs in Ireland. Apply for that jobs and you can be able to secure a job in Ireland. So let's get into it. So this is the critical skills occupation of Ireland. Um, employment in respect of which there is a shortage in respect of qualifications, experience or skills which are required for the proper functioning of the economy. If you can, if you look here, you will see that this list came into effect from 20th of December 2023 when the employment permits, permits regulation 2023 came into effect. So these are the jobs that made it to this critical skills occupation list. Production managers and directors, ICT professionals, health and social services managers and directors, their managers and pro uh, proprietors in agriculture related services, um, natural and social science professionals, um, engineering professionals, information technology and telecommunication professionals, health professionals, therapy professionals, nursing and midwifery professionals, teaching and educational professionals, business, research and administrative professionals, then architectures, town planners and surveyors, welfare professionals, quality and regulatory professionals, media professionals, and the rest. Look at them. They're not much. So you just look into it because 
you might be opportune each one has its branches as well you see health professionals you see the branches if you see um health and social care but okay health and social services manager and director see the other uh, people that can apply under this particular code these are their codes the soc that's the skilled occupation code so um today like i earlier mentioned i'm going to show you some care jobs or how to find a job on this um on how to find a job in ireland so let's see so we are here this is irish jobs and if you want to find job here let's say you're looking for a job that um we are looking for care job for instance you type in care jobs when you type in care you search and you will see care jobs here you can also be specific if you come here you can decide to choose exactly where you want to work it depends on you if you know exactly where you want to go to you can choose from here but if you're just looking out for jobs in ireland that it doesn't matter where you can just come here put in the job title we go for care jobs and then these are the care jobs here these are the care jobs okay patient flow and care transmission i've talked about this particular type of job a lot especially uh, in the nhs this is now in ireland as well so the amount is not disclosed and make sure that when you're looking out for these jobs you are looking for a full-time job make sure it is full-time okay this is um for consultants clinical facilitator this is for social care worker and support worker and this is care staff um health care assistant at saint vincent university hospital the amount is not disclosed let's find out what this job is all about okay applications are invited for the permanent position of health care assistant in the nursing directorate of saint vincent university hospital this is the purpose of the post you go through it and like i would always say please if you are ready to make applications and you want to move abroad if there's one thing you need to work on, that thing is your CV. You need to work on your CV because the CV is one thing that comes in front of your prospective employer where you are not even there and explain who you are, explain your capability. And if you're not able to sell yourself to the employer, who then will employ you? You need a good CV. I cannot overemphasize how getting a good CV is very important. And I've made, I made a video on my page. I dropped a video. You can check it out. I'll also leave the link in the description. I made a video on how you can draft a good CV. If you can't write your CV well, if you can't do it yourself and your cover letter, reach out to me. I'm going to do these things for you and I'm going to do it well. So write your CV and make sure you write it very well so that you can be able to attract these employers to be able to hire you. You need to convince them without reasonable doubt that you are the perfect person for this particular position they want to hire you for. If you can't prove that, why would they stress their self to hire someone for from overseas for nothing so you need to prove to them that you can do this job that is one thing you need to prove beyond reasonable doubt so get a good cv and get a good cover letter and apply for job then while doing your cv make sure that you are looking at the job description and 
the person's specification. Include the right word in your CV and also include that in your cover letter. So check out the job description. The skill is for healthcare assistant. And if you're looking out for healthcare assistant job, this is one job you can also apply for. It's in South Dublin. It's in South Dublin. Um, the amount you'll be paid is not disclosed. And as you can see, it was published five days ago. You can go and apply to this job. There are other jobs here, many of them. There are many jobs here for social worker and then for care assistant children's service. Then there's part-time care assistant uh, slash support worker. But of course, we can't go for part-time. You need to go for a full-time job so that you can be able to come into Ireland and work in Ireland. Then there are social, so many social care jobs here. There's care supervisor, there's relief care assistant, so many jobs. So just go and check it out and see if it's a job you can apply for. If you meet the criteria, please kindly go and apply. There's care worker, uh, the Axima Society of Ireland. So this is the job, the, the vision and the rest. Read these things and put them down while applying for this job. It will give you an edge. It will give you an edge. Okay? So that's it. And check out for other jobs that you can be able to apply for Ireland. I hope this video was of great help to you. And I know that by now, you already know what to do and how to apply and get a job in Ireland. I don't need to say it a lot of times that Ireland is an amazing country. So I'm going to leave the link of all the things you need to know about Ireland, where you're going to apply in the description box. So check out the description box if you need the link and then go and apply. Start making your applications and do not relent. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed up till this moment, please subscribe and like this video. I will definitely see you in my next video. For now, bye.